My family has made a grave mistake. They let me cook again. That's a bad idea. Because you know what happened last time. I didn't find the butter. I have butter now. If you saw my egg video, God knows how long ago when I had purple hair, you knew how bad it went. But today we're making grilled cheese. I'm good at making grilled cheese. I need a pan. So, uh... Pan. Okay. So, basically, they let me cook again. That's a bad idea. Because... I shouldn't be allowed to cook. I'm pretty sure the government's made a federal law that if you let me cook, you're gonna go to jail for 29 years. Why not 69? I don't know. Don't ask me. Because I'm not the government. And don't ask about my relationship with the government. It's not a good one. But see, I have knife. They let me hold a knife. That's a bad idea. Everything's a bad idea when I'm involved. But don't worry, because I'm going to be a little smarter than last time, and I know where butter is. So here, I'm now going to teach you guys how to make grilled cheese. First, take your bread slices. Open your butter, if you have butter. Butter, remember. That's very important. You're going to butter one side of the bread slice. See? Look at that. Nice and even bread. Spread it nicely amongst the bread slice. Make sure it gets everywhere because you want a nice grilled cheese. Then you're going to take your other bread and you're going to do the same thing. Just going to evenly spread it because we're not killing anyone. We are going to eat this. And we are going to make sure that we eat it good. We are going to enjoy our grilled cheese sandwich. So now you're going to take your American cheese or whatever kind of cheese you have. See, this is America. We have our own kind of cheese here. You're going to open your cheese nicely and innocently. Now, I put two cheese slices on every sandwich. I don't care what you do. I like two. I'm just going to open it up nicely. Nicely. And you're going to put them together. Now we're gonna move over here. We're moving over to the pan now. Now hopefully, I don't kill anyone again. Because if you know what happened last time, you know. You're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it to medium. Medium. We're not burning anything. We're not burning the house down. We're putting it to medium. You wanna take your spatula? Spatula. Take your bread, put it on. If you wanna put it on medium high, that's good. You're just gonna have your bread sit there. You're gonna take one cheese and put it on. One cheese, other cheese, put it on, two cheese. Now, you put your first bread butter down on the pan. If you take your other one, butter up. Because then when you flip it over, the butter's gonna be down. Because we want even butter. We if okay, we put butter on so that the bread doesn't burn. <coughs> Yay! So we're gonna let it cook. And my mother said, You're smelling and hearing. I don't know if you hear it, but I hear some crackling. We like that. We want the crackles. If you want to make it go a little faster, lightly press. Yeah, you're going to get some butter on there, but you're going to get butter anyway. You're just going to... Smells good. But once the crackling disappears, you're going to flip it. 
So, how was your day today? Mine isn't so good, I know I have to edit this video after. But that's fine. The crackling is fading. So you're gonna grab, and I'll just flip it. It's nice and golden. You can see, it's nice. And then after this, I'll make another grilled cheese sandwich off camera, and I'll let you guys come with me for taste testing. After I cut it though, because you need to cut your grilled cheese. Tell me, do you cut it in half or make the triangles? Because it's a big argument and I don't know, I cut mine in triangles. If it isn't golden enough to your liking, flip it again. Obviously. Because you can never go wrong when you're flipping a grilled cheese sandwich. There's just, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Period. Or you can. Okay, now we got this nice grilled cheese sandwich. You're gonna put it on your plate and let it dry. Now we're gonna do that same step to make another grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, so we're back. Finished my second grilled cheese. And remember kids, clean up. I also have a tip. There's one piece of bread left and it's the crust. See, since I'm a horrible person, I'm going to leave that for whoever needs the bread next. If you want your family and loved ones to actually like you and bear living with you, don't do what I'm doing. I'm going to leave this for the next person. Because I'm an asshole. We all know that. You're going to put your cheese, put it back in your refrigerator or your selected cheese area. And you do the same thing with your butter. Because remember... If you know what happened last time, I couldn't find any butter. My mom came home and told me it was in the fucking fridge. I missed it. Cause I'm not the smartest. So you're gonna put the pan away. And now your grilled cheese, I'm gonna cut it into triangles, but I don't care how you cut it. I'm cutting my grilled cheese so that I can enjoy my grilled cheese. You may cut it in half. You may not cut it at all. I don't care how you enjoy it. As long as you enjoy your grilled cheese. Put the knife away. And remember, you can use the same knife as butter you can for cutting. Take your grilled cheese. Perfection.